there are ways to approach outcomes that someone wants. Traditionally, conventionally, people will set goals going forward. I believe that's critically important. Write down goals, write down objectives. However, I believe that starting in the future, at some point in the future, and I choose today, this is, you know, 2010, I choose 2015, I have people work backwards from 2015. I have them imagine the outcome they want, which comes back to your question about visualization and success before, and then look backwards for anything that they could do or that could happen to disrupt the outcome that they want. So it's planning forward, but also letting the subconscious mind work backwards. So for example, what could get in someone's way? Uh, we talked about the way people speak to themselves. Uh, three years ago, the Giants were going to be playing the Patriots in the Super Bowl. Uh, I predicted before that game that the Patriots would lose to the Giants because of the way I believe the Patriots are speaking to themselves. They had won 18 consecutive games. Everybody felt that the Patriots were coming in saying, we want to win this one. But it was proven with interviews afterwards that what they were saying was, we don't want to lose this game. One of my tips to students is, you must avoid at all costs telling yourself what you don't want to have happen. Because your subconscious mind, from where your performance comes, never hears that negative command. So the, the Patriots were coming in saying, we don't want to lose this game. The Giants were going in saying, we want to win it. I think that's a significant outcome. The individual's performance, uh, performers, uh, pianists, uh, anybody who has any type of an acting performance, I believe needs to be telling themselves what they want to have happen, not what they don't want to have happen.